This is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Craig Rebel Horwood. Two. Helen Ritchie. Sorry, Ben. Four. Shana Burgess. Room for improvement. Four. Mark Wilson. Come on, Ben. You can do it. Four. That's right, everybody. He blew the judges away last <laughs> night. I'm dancing with the stars. A hidden talent none of us knew he had. <laughs> Neither did he. Ben Cousins. Uh, good morning. Cousy. Uh, I knew this one was coming. It's been a long build-up. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ben, you did film this quite a while ago, so when, tell everyone when it started, because you've been... Uh, so, <laughs> I started practising um, just after New Year, yeah. uh, and then um, and that went on for on and off for six, six odd weeks, and then spent six weeks up in Sydney for the filming. So, wait there, so that was six weeks of practice, that dance? <laughs> 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 I know where you're going. With that. So they know they know So basically, all I'm trying to say is I've had a long time to sit and wait for this, and even yes. the, I've known. In the limited stuff I know about TV, even the cleverest editing wasn't going to be able to spin this Well, they, well, they just would have had to blur me. the whole thing, Ben, didn't they? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to say, it's not as bad as what you're thinking it is. No, um, <laughs> because, but, but my favourite thing about you, Ben, was the look on your face. You had that smile on your face like, oh, shit, this is happening. <laughs> Complete terror. <laughs> Complete oh, terror. You. you know, and you do... I, did, I couldn't have done one more hour of dancing. Um, <laughs> So it wasn't through lack of effort or, um, no, or it's application. Not easy. It's yes. tough. It, like, there's it, no doubt about it. It is. But I, I was surprised at how sensitive I did get about some of the comments. And <laughs> whilst I did find it very humorous, I do like the phrase presenting. Yes. I, yes. Do, I do find that funny. Yeah. but because that was I you can, sticking your butt out. Yeah. yeah, to the nation. So I can honestly say, even today, there's not a shop window that I don't <laughs> walk past and I give a double take to see how my ass is <laughs> I've become very self-conscious. <laughs> One of the things I was worried about where before you were about to walk down the stairs and start the foxtrot was how much you were going to sweat up whilst you are doing that. Yes. Now, we saw that you ran out of breath, but we did a show last year for, for the first time in a while, and you sweated like a good horse, Ben. Oh. So how were you just before then? Oh, well, mate, if I was in the mountain yard before the race, if I was a horse, you, w- you wouldn't have your money on me. I know that. <laughs> but, uh, you know, after the performance, I took my, my jacket off. Yeah. And it was as dripping oh, as God. ever, if not more than I've ever been playing football. So wow. I guess that's the dance component, but also, the you nerves. know, the nerves yes. and doing it. And that was that was a big stretch for me, I must admit. Um, the other six days of the week I really enjoyed and I was felt, <laughs> after some time, quite safe in the confines of a studio just with my dance yeah. partner. But yeah. then... When um, there's people watching, when and there's lights, cameras, a crowd, uh, it got the was spray on. But also, also, let's, <laughs> yes. talk, let's talk about the pressure, it right? We know, hard. we all know TV, right? We've been mm. in this industry for a while. The most popular, the person they hang everything on that the ratings are going to be there for mm. is the last person to dance. Mm. It's the last person yeah. to come down those stairs. That was you. Mm. The, all the pressure was on you Brilliant. because people knew, <laughs> and that's why they had you on the first episode. They want to hook people in because they want everyone wants to see what how Ben Cousins does. Yeah. You had to. Did you? realise that was happening? <laughs> well, <laughs> bring it home. Yeah, you know. <laughs> now, Kaz, uh, yeah. a few years ago, um, we caught up with Dave Wurupanda, who was on this show as well, okay. and he hated being on this show and was begging. We were telling people to vote for him. It was back when they used to vote. Yeah. And he would say, no, don't, <laughs> don't vote, vote me, and me. he hung up on us because we were encouraging people to vote for him to keep yeah. him there. Did you ask him for any advice? Well, this is there's a story to this. So I purposely, when I was starting to entertain the idea of going on the show, I didn't want to hear <laughs> what Weera had to yeah, say about yes. it. I didn't want to know. Probably don't talk and, to Danny Green and either. And <laughs> after it was announced, he did call up the next day and he, I answered the phone and he said, brother, why didn't you talk to me first? <laughs> <laughs> And, and I told him, I said, off. listen, I said, I didn't want to know what you had to say. Um, you know, it is very hard, this show, and I'd heard that you need to put mm. in a lot of time and effort and training. 
you know, Wira was a very naturally gifted, yeah. you know, athlete. He, mm. he didn't like training for football, so how was he going to go with dancing? So I said, you know, I'm going to try and put myself in a slightly different category, but maybe I should have listened to him. Um, but, uh, it, yeah, it has the been thing a is, though, The thing is, though, you don't know if your body moves that way until That's you right. try and move your body that way. So you know people that twerk? So many people, yes. Sean, you could yeah. probably twerk. But I don't <laughs> have the muscles in my yeah. body that all the arse you'd be Wait, able to yeah, do, Ben. You'll be fine, Ben. <laughs> You can drop it like it's hot. Oh, yes. you, can, you can shake up Sean Crow's and drink if you are. Cars, you did say you really enjoyed it once you got going. And so there's two things. You really enjoyed it. There's a fitness component, because you were dancing like eight yeah. hours a day type of stuff. And you're listening to some of your favourite songs. <laughs> and, I, and I also want to get how uh, how personal it gets between you and your dancer, because you're right up in a grill yeah. all the time. Yeah. Well, it's, it is a, it's a unique... <clears throat> You know, the whole dance world, you know, has been something that I have... So many of them hook up. So many of them Yeah, it's sort of like going snorkelling for the first time. There's a whole different world yeah, under there. Yeah. But this yeah. is much the same. And I hadn't been exposed to it at all. Um, but I, I did love it. And, you know, a big part of why I enjoyed the show so much, I had an incredible dance partner. Um, and I, I really did fall in love with the way she and the other pro dancers yeah. move. Like, yeah. it is something else. And uh, um, pretty quickly, it just became about just how good an opportunity it was to be able to dance mm. um, with somebody uh, like that. Um, or well, the athletes. Day in, they? day out. Yeah, mm. just you're just not exposed to that um, ever, really. And, um, yeah, so when, I did love it. When you're holding your partner for the first time, right, so it, it's like, you know, when you're on a date with someone or you've been with mm. someone for a while, you, you might want... You might dance like that somewhere. It's very you, intimate. You're grinding up next to you. Yeah. It's easier just to sleep with them at the start. Yes. <laughs> and just get it out of the way. Like, you're like, oh, look, I know we don't know. Let's just do it. Let's go hardcore. And then afterwards, everything's going to be easy. <laughs> Did you feel a bit... You know, oh, well, that's a, part, a big part of it. Like, dance is there so used to the the touching or, or, yeah. or the, you know... Um, yeah, but you're not. Yes, and that, you know, you sort of got to just go with it and and pretty quickly um, it just becomes part of the training and, mm. and that. But even... Even learning the steps was one thing, but then there's that whole. Perf- you've actually got yes. to, you know, not just dance it, but perform you've got to sell it, it. Yeah. and you've got to, and the acting and and yeah. all that, which um, the you way know, you knock on the door oh, at the beginning, well, amazing, yeah, amazing. You know, like, you, I was convinced that was. I found all that stuff as hard as any of it. You know, it's only how I can yeah. knock yeah. on the yeah. door, but. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I can do it normally. <laughs> Why can't I do it? Um, but it, um, you know, some of the performers, um, or some of the actors rather, or um, singers, they when they go to dance, yeah. they come to life when yeah. when it's time to yeah. perform, yeah. and yeah. Um, and that was cool to watch, um, and. Because it was so foreign to us, it's it's why it's been so good for us. Um, yeah. It sort of pushes you uh, yeah. and gets you out of your comfort zone. Hey, Ben, uh, it's a bit of a serious question. So your whole... We all know your, your history and the troubles that mm-hmm. you've had. When doing a show like this, you realise that all the press are going to rewrite those stories and it's going to be presented as part of, your, part of your package. How are you with that now? Like, are you, uh, are you, are you, are you now... You know when you go through a, a time and then you don't want to talk about it, are you now at the stage where... It's an easy thing to discuss, or is that a bit of a sting still? Oh uh, uh, no! Listen, I'm I'm fully aware of um, the path that I've I've been down. Um, I, I'm just in a totally different uh, space in my life. So I was think it's been life, given. You? Yeah, well, hmm. it's I, I, I'm I'm. I try to remind myself of where I've come from, but yeah. I'm just in a different place. Um, I'm just more interested in, you know, so much else that's going on in my life. It's not that I'm um, reluctant to talk about it when the situation comes along. It's just... I'm just uh, invested in in all the other good things that There's are in my more life. To your life. Yeah, now. yeah. But it is, yeah. It, it is it is what's happened's happened. Is mm. you know I can't change that, and it's um, but it's nice to be moving um yeah. through that and and out the other yeah. side. And, and as and time away gets it. away from 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 all, all your troubles, it's an easy thing to talk. about. It's like losing mm. someone really. Mm. Right? Like when I lost my brother, it was so hard mm. to talk about. Now now I can talk about it and I'm fine. Mm. So once you get a bit departed from a the trauma, yeah, it's totally. easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're a bit yeah. more. Catch. Yeah, and just you know, I'm just in a different place. Life is good, you know. I, you're I, dancing. Yeah, yeah. Well, just even the fact you're that dancing. you're dancing your ass to Australia. You're dancing, and you've got a puppy. Like, 
what else do you, you need? Know, <laughs> yes, but the fact that I've, I've taken on that um, that uh, show and, and given it a go is just an indication of the yeah. different space yeah. I'm in because I know that, you know, prior, um, I just never would have been able to do something like yeah. that. This is the first time that you've been on our show ever. Do you know that? That's uh, yeah. that's 21, tw- 21 yeah, 22 yeah. years. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? <laughs> that's his. Um, you can see Ben's next performance Sunday night uh, on Channel 7 at 7 o'clock. That's with the stars. Nathan, Nat and Sean is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au. Nova.